What are you doing here? Oh my lord! I apologize. My thoughts got the better of me. If I say so myself, people call me Orlek of Castelli. Actually, I came across a little problem. No, no, no. Let me correct myself. Perhaps I should say I came across a little lightning. Lightning? jumped out of my skin! Literally, a bolt out of the blue! It's no challenge to avoid lightning. <laughs> but isn't it only natural to think of a better way to do it? Thunderblade Martel Ironside was the armed guard of this place. Thunderblade? Unbelievable! I believe this is a sign of a warm welcome. <laughs> and it is my duty to return the greeting. Please, go ahead if you're in a rush. What? Hmm. Shall I greet the lightning at full force? Or... <sighs> What a weirdo. The mighty old egg of Castelli has come to protect his old friend. his old friend.
come to protect his old friend. Again, I do not usually doze away like this. The sound of cannonballs bring my longing for home, sweet home. My entire life was spent at the battlefield, so the sound of cannonballs is soothing like a warm lullaby. <laughs> cannonballs? Are they not visible? I'm referring to the cannon shot by the undead in front! shoot them into the middle of the bridge. It is not quite a threat to me, but I reckon there is a better way to dodge them. Hey! That's not fair for undead to shoot cannonballs! There is a reason it is called the Heavenly Fortress. 
Once again, please get a head start if you're running out of time. What's with that wacko? But it would be best to listen to the undead story. Ugh, no. Impossible. After all, they are too worked up.
Again. Ah, I'm sure you can also see that huge monster. <laughs> also, that man in the cage looks troubled. I have high hopes to see. What if he's talking with the undead? No one in the cage is crazy enough to talk with the undead. I realize the fact you are strong. But please refrain from impolite attacks. You're really stupid, aren't you? What does the man behind bars want to say to the undead? What a shame the long distance disturbs our hearing. Me with no choice. I, Orlek, Knight of Castelli, will combine forces. Combat skills are just brilliant. But don't just jump in without a thought. You must also be a Knight of Veda. So I assume you have a lifelong mission to complete. But for now, let's have a toast. For your courage, my sword, and may the earth Bless our victory! <laughs> now, the clock is ticking toward bedtime. Good toast. Always gets me sluggish. What? Is he really asleep? Mm. 
Uh, excuse me. Uh, please help me out. All right. There was someone. Oh, goddess. You're a knight of fetter. Please have mercy on me. Who are you? Why are you locked up here? I'm Thomas the Scribe, working for Martel. Have mercy and get me out of here. Every warrior in the fortress transformed into an undead, so I hid here. What? You locked yourself up? I thought it'd be safe since the cage had sturdy iron bars. But why can't you come out? Oh, you can only open it from outside. This canyon must be cursed with stupidity. Every person we encounter is a fool. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're Martha's scribe? Yes, I am. I have served Lord Martell Ironside for a long time. Then you must know all about Martell. What kind of person is he? He used to be a knight from Castelli. Castelli? Hmm, I heard it from somewhere. Oh! That fool over there said he's from Castelli too! But where is he? She was there a moment ago. The Castelli Kingdom is at the far west. Even when darkness fell and undead ravaged the continent, the Knights of Castelli fought with their swords and shields up high. They were called the Golden Knights because they were in golden armor. How come he became a minion of Magnus? Magnus was once a sage king and liberator of this continent. Every armed knight wanted to ally with Magnus, the successor of the Book of Death. Oh, so Marthel became Magnus's minion back in the good times. They were colleagues. They shared the same goal. Well, that's what a minion is. Minion number one and I share the same goal, too. Isn't that true, Minion number one? Every warrior in the continent came to fight. But Lord Martell was the best of all. Lord Martell being instrumental in retrieving Holy City Elsalame. Then... Did Marthel join Magnus on the journey to the Colonnade of Elsilium? Lord Martel was Magnus's most reliable knight and was referred to as Thunderblade. Magnus's minions followed him, dedicating their lives to him. Hmm. But why is he now the head of defensive troops in a frontier area? I'm not sure. There are all kinds of rumours. What rumours? Some say he's cursed by witches. Others say he was ousted to the borders when confronting the king's tyranny. Oh. Anyway, Martel seems like an admirable person. Great! I'll make minion number one knock him down. And he'll be my minion number two. Such a respectable man, but... Oh. What's with the tears? On the day of the tragedy, he turned into an undead. Marcel also became an undead? No, then he can't be my minion number two. Even as an undead, his mission is to guard the Lightning Canyon. Mission? Even the warrior turned undead still follow Lord Martell. Undead 
following an undead. So strong influence in one's root is maintained even after being transformed into an undead. But a strong meritorious warrior like Marthel turning into an undead means trouble. But no worries, minion number one. I, the goddess of victory, will make sure you win. Ah! <laughs>